Yo, what is going on guys? Helvetica back again, and today I'm gonna show you guys what I used to get the top bolt out on this 1997 Grand Marquis. This should apply to pretty much any Ford that has the 4.6 liter V8 engine with the automatic transmission in it. Um, I know it ranges anywhere from like 94 to somewhere in the mid 2000s. This applies to the Ford Mustangs. I think some Ford Explorers and a few other Lincoln and Mercury vehicles that have the same engine and transmission setup in it. Now the main problem people have when they try to change these starters out is the bolt on the top of the starter is extremely difficult to reach even with your hand. But I uh, was able to successfully pull the starter out and put it back in and put all three bolts back in. A lot of people leave that third bolt out you could probably get away with it. Um, is it right? No. So this is the contraption that I These made are basically here. all the tools that I used on those bolts. They're 10 millimeter bolt heads. I've got a swivel ratchet here. This will help you get up on the uh, second bolt, the bolt in the middle, and just kind of ratchet it like this. You're going to put it on and just kind of go like that. Uh, you can kind of try to get one of these in there with an extension with a 10 on it. You can use even a quarter inch one to give you a little bit more room because it's smaller after you get it broken loose. Um, but this is the guy for the top bolt right here. So, I got a screwdriver by quarter inch female socket adapter. I just have like a regular bit chuck in here, quarter inch by quarter inch, male to female. And then I have this 90 degree tool right here. I'll put a link in the description where you can buy one. I got this DeWalt from uh, Home Depot or Lowe's, but you can order them online. And then I just have one of these, which is a quarter inch by three eighths socket adapter. So you can put that into a socket extension here little short 3 8 socket extension into a 3 8 by 10 millimeter socket for the bolt head. And that gets you the perfect amount of distance away from that bolt to where this will clear the front of the starter basically. And this is just going to get you down out of the way of everything so you can do your twisting and turning. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to break it loose like this. You can also take this off and slam your favorite impact on there to break it loose or run it back in or get it the rest of the way out. You can also, if that's not long enough, use another extension here, you know, and swap that shorty out for a longer one just to get you away from everything under the car and kind of have your left hand up here using it to guide this onto the bolt head while you have your right hand down here ready to pull the trigger. As you can see, you got the screwdriver with a 3 8 extension, a small one with a 90 degree uh, angle head with another extension and a 3 8 bit, which I'll show you here in a second. And we just come right by on the left side of this bar. You could probably take this bar off and make it a little easier. But that's what it looks like when you're in there and on the bolt. So as you can see, we're under the car. Starter is in. I bought new bolts for it. The old ones were uh, stripped from the factory. The new bolts will just help you kind of thread them back in easier. What I did is I threaded them in before I put the starter on. Uh, put some grease on there just to kind of help them go in easily So I knew that I wouldn't have a hard time threading them in and it would just be all about the angle. So There's the bottom bolt Your side bolt is up there and the top bolt I think you can see it just past all the way in the corner And you're gonna want to use your extension up through there And I'll throw up a couple pictures of what it looks like when I have that whole uh, Apparatus stuffed in there. So yeah this is what you need right here. Looks a little crazy, but it got in there and it got the job done, I tell you what. Like I said, links to all that stuff will be in the description. Uh, I'll throw up a link for the 90 degree tool, which is basically the most important tool that you're gonna need. Um, you may just have to buy one of those quarter inch extensions if you don't have one laying around. Um, yeah, and then after that, it's pretty much all about finagling it up in there, uh, trying to keep your cool, and using a lot of cuss words till it's in. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.